Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Horror Talk. I'm Jake. And Ross. Today we're talking about 2001's Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> so, grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee. Let's, Let's talk, talk horror. horror. Okay, hey. guys. Uh, uh, first, uh, first uh, um, installment of Franchise Friday for the well, like, word, Words are hard. Yeah, it's yeah, rough tonight. Are. Drink a little bit more of that, there, guy. Yeah. So um, we're moving on to Jeepers Creepers. Yay! Starting Jeepers Creepers. Yep. Three, uh, three movies in this franchise, guys, and that's mostly going to line us up to where we're going to go on to Friday the Thirteenth next month, November Thirteenth next month. This small franchise, but still a franchise, an underrated franchise, actually. I believe so. Um, a lot of the issues come from the director Dennis Salvo. Um, as a lot of people know, he is a convicted child molester. Yeah, and that, that would tend to kind of not want people to support you, yep, just but, a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. I understand the issues with the director and not wanting to support the director, but at the same time, it's still a good movie whether the director's a piece of shit or not. Nobody's saying shit about Harvey Weinstein movies. Yeah, and I agree with that. I mean, look, just That's because... like saying, you know what, I'm never watching Goodwill Hunting again because... Harvey Weinstein was the producer. Yeah, and well, that was a fantastic fucking movie. Yeah. It was. I mean, yeah, the, the Weinsteins are pieces of shit, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, or like, say, I'm never watching Scream again because of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. When yeah. I mean, that we already had that conversation with the Scream, uh, Scream franchise we talked about. That's the, what indirectly sparked the Me Too movement that started all that shit, which yep. is fantastic. They've gotten some, ga- some great ground, but it's... Shitty to look back on a movie and talk bad about the movie because the people that were involved with it were pieces of shit, and yeah. they're getting what they deserve. Yeah, so, exactly. Right. And look, he, they're not the only ones in Hollywood, I can promise you. Not by far. Anyway. All right, so Jeepers Troopers has a runtime run of one hour and 30 minutes. God damn, I've got to mush them out tonight. Dude, right? Um, what the fuck? Made on a budget of $10 million, and it grossed $59.3 million. Cast. Very small cast in this one, guys. Cast includes Gina Phillips plays Trish. Justin Long plays Derry. Can't call it a small cast when you have Justin Long on there. <laughs> His name is Derry, as in the home of Pennywise. <laughs> D- Darius. This yeah. man, his name is Darius. And uh, Jonathan Bre- Breck plays the Creeper. Great job. Great job. That was a bit great cast, wasn't it? We're not going to yeah. talk about, uh, let's see, what's uh, what's her face? The Cat Lady. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not talking about the Cat Lady. <laughs> the Cat Lady was great. I love the All Cat right, Lady. All right, guys, the plot of this movie, everybody knows the plot of Jeepers Creepers pretty much. There's uh, a creeper. Th- there's a creeper, and he takes your body, and he eats it, and he assimilates it into himself. Ooh, no, see, you can't say regular words, but assimilate slides out like fucking butter. It's, right? it's, amazing, it's amazing, isn't it? You can't do two syllable words. but Right. So, <laughs> we start off brother and sister driving down the road going home for How many custom? Break. How many custom license plates do you see that you could play a whole game about it? I wouldn't think that it would be that damn. Maybe that's something that's not common down here, but more common elsewhere. But it doesn't seem like it could be common in Georgia or wherever the hell they're at. (laughs) I don't know where they're at exactly. (laughs) That was well done. <laughs> what, I don't they're know, right the, outside Lock, Lockjaw, Lockjaw <laughs> Kentucky. I don't know where they're at, but it doesn't seem like that would be that damn popular that they'd be able to play a whole game out of it. Yeah. But brother and sister are going home for spring break to see the parents. How do you go straight to Gay Fever? And Gay Fever is one of the license plates that he reads. That was that was not. It was six A four E V R. Sexy. Sexy forever. Forever. Not, Wait, he goes straight to gay, gay fever and then gay forever. Not yeah, he I, mistook it, the six. It was, for, it was a lot of gay things gee. going on in there, Justin. I'm not sure what was happening in that fucking movie or right. why you had a rose tattooed on your navel. But right, we're just so, gonna, we're gonna bypass that. We're just gonna bypass it. Uh, quick question, because I know, um, my mom caught it right away. The the license plate of the creepers truck. Is be eating you? Yeah, Is it not? You ever caught it right? Did you catch it right away? Whenever it, no, it, and, and honestly, whenever I. I first watched this movie. The reason that I didn't catch it was because he's sitting back and just go beating you. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. I just accepted it. Like it was. Cool. I can remember watching this the first time and my mom screaming, no, that's B eating you. Really? Yeah. Well, my mom called that shit well, from Jump Street. Good job because uh, I did not catch that the first time yeah, I fucking watched I remember, this movie. I, that's Absolutely one of my main memories not. of watching this movie. Uh, when it first came out on DVD, we rented it. And I can remember my mom, we were in the living room, my mom screams it out. 
So they see the license plate uh, be eating you, which he misconstrues as beating you, and he rams the shit out of him okay. because he's a psycho person. Well, what they side track. He's a psycho person. Side track. We're side tracking already because we know this, this, this is a demon. It's he's a demon. He's, he's a, a creature. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Matt Damon. We we know that. They don't know that. Yeah. They think he's just a crazy person. I know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, where did he get a truck? I'm pretty sure he killed somebody and stole the damn truck. Where he got the license and plate. And souped that motherfucker up. I mean, How did he get a custom plate? You, you, you don't, he's not going straight. He's not going to walk into I DMV. Mean, he might have a license with that picture on him. I, I don't <laughs> fucking know. He is what he eat. Maybe he ate somebody's face and became right. human for he like 30 up, seconds. And he like, has to update it every 23 years because he changes his fucking body type. Well, yeah. well let's, let's be real. He would have had to have eaten a bunch of faces of the same people because there's no way he's getting out of the DMV before the face no. disintegrates yeah. and goes away. Yeah, no. <sighs> Whatever. So, the, But that's one of my questions. I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I, I he, he probably stole the truck. Movie. It's a fucking movie. But... The the license plate, dude. That's he a very... probably stole that from some lesbians. You don't know. Oh well done. That's probably that's what cool. happened. He stole. That. I didn't think about that. You right? I he got that. Probably I, stole that. Touche. From some, yeah. Touche, my homie. That's exactly you. what happened. So be eating you drives past them, which now I, I'm sorry drives I, past them. But Justin Long turns into a whole bitch in that that scene. He was a Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought well that as I was watching the movie, yeah. I didn't want to fucking say it. Yeah, he turned into a Dairy Queen and well complete done. fucking bitch. <laughs> you, know, you know what it reminded me of? That scene from, uh, it reminded me of uh, Super Troopers. He's already He's pulled over. I can't pull over anymore. <laughs> I can't pull over anymore. Right. He so, can't go over any farther. I, just go around me. So he, he goes he, around. Every time you say go around me, you're swerving into the I'm other lane. I'm sitting there like, I'm watching the movie. I'm like, he can't fucking hear you. <laughs> He can't hear you. Stop yelling at him. <laughs> you can't hear your own radio over that car, no, over that truck. Absolutely fucking not. That thing was souped the fuck oh, up. Oh, yeah. That was a badass fucking hey, truck that he hey, had. Everybody needs their Batmobile, dog. That was, that was, he was man bat. Yeah. Uh, he, he fucking, <laughs> he had that shit. So he passes him up. They uh, wind up passing him. He's parked by a fucking church, and they see him throw a bloody sheet wrapped up in rope down a fucking pipe. You know what's funny? Every town in Louisiana has a church like that. <laughs> yes, broken cross and everything. It's fucking creepy. It's weird. Yeah. Every town in Louisiana, guys. It's fucking weird. There's one on the river that I've passed by. Yeah, and, and you know what you passed- didn't do? You didn't fucking stop there. No. no. Well, in fact, we I drove by with our friend Nikki, and we oh, both we shout both out. and shout out to Nikki, and we I actually sped up. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of this. Place. I, as we were passing, I'm like, dude, that's a church from Jeepers Creepers, and she goes. Oh, it really is. And we sped up because you don't stop at a place you like don't that. don't stop there. Even, even fucking Trish knows that in this movie. No. Get the fuck out. Why Listen slow to down Trish. to 10 miles an hour while he's throwing obvious, obvious bodies down a chute? Yeah, and let's, stare at him. Let's stare at him let's for a second. Let's make eye contact real quick. <laughs> we're we're going to look at you just a little bit. <laughs> don't worry about us. Don't mind us. We're just on our merry way. Da, yeah. da. Spring break. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, that'd be great so justin long Terry's uh when he does get back to the pipe he's young hello is anybody down there here spring break spring break <laughs> Derry's conscience runs into him so they go back to the fucking church to go look down the pipe no what that sucks i, I that's agree a, that's don't a fucking do idea. that trish acknowledges it in the movies like you know there's a moment in horror movies where people do stupid things and everybody's mad at them this is that moment this is that moment this is that moment that was Again, absolutely that as i said in a hundred videos so far horror fans are not dying in this scenario no horror fans don't die in the, shit like the creepers not getting us we are fucking good no yeah i'm fuck good that. I'm, you'll hear what happened when he passed the church i'd have never let off the up. gas sped up keep fucking going yeah i don't know no, you just you, we're you, gonna go back and we're gonna ten over the speed limit until you get back to the house. We're gonna check on things. Yeah. So he goes down there, and of course, what happens? He falls down the damn pipe, slides down to the basement in this church, right in the fucking Babette's maison. Oh yeah, right up in there. That was a lot of stuff that people aren't gonna understand. But okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Right in, the monster, right in the monster's house. Yeah, everybody in, in our podcast, all all four of y'all, are like, "What the fuck was that? <laughs> what are you talking about?" So he goes down the pipe. The fuck is a <laughs> he, he goes down the pipe, <laughs> yeah. and he's got the flashlight. He's uh, looking around, and he finds a uh, he finds a Tim Burton character that's been discarded. Okay. And uh, he, un- he unwraps the body. <laughs> well, well, well if you've seen the movie, you know exactly yeah. what the hell I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> Johnny Depp could have did a cameo there. That would have been Johnny Depp's character right there. He was white and his lips were black. He was like, <laughs> hide. Before they even get to that, right? 
He's chasing them down. He's running them on the road. And they're like, what's your fucking problem? You just watched him drop bodies down the what fucking street. What's his fucking... You know what his problem yeah. is. You don't ask You me. have empirical evidence of what his problem is. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. But anyway, after he rams him, he decides he's going to tie the trunk shut with some tidy whities This movie could have been done in 10 minutes if the what? fucking creeper would have just stopped. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Their car died. Yeah. That was it. If he would have just stopped and went and killed them right there by the fucking tree. Yeah. It would have been over with. Nobody would have saw it. No, they're in the middle there, of fucking nowhere. There, there's a fucking sequel to this movie that never got made. What happened to that? Uh, the, the camper. The RV. You, you see the RV turn off. Yeah. And just gone into the ether. They yeah. were smart. They didn't stop. Yeah, no, they just kept going. Like, no. Yeah, no, let's get the fuck off this road. <laughs> we needed to know what happened to Sexy Forever. Yeah, no. That's the movie we're making. We're calling it Sexy, Sexy Forever. We, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be mis- misinterpreted as a porn movie, but yeah, we're, yeah. Make, we're making that Sexy Forever. But we're it's putting good. it like that. 6A4EVR. Yeah. Yeah. You put it right. And we'll see how many people fuck up the title of the movie before it's even before it's even made. <laughs> right. All right. So he's down there. He's just discovered the discarded Tim Burton character wrapped up in the cloth who breathes his last breath as Justin Long, uh, Derry, is trying to fucking figure out what the hell he's how trying to he say. How did he make it that long? I don't know. He shouldn't have made it that long without lungs and crap. Because he was cut up, and I don't know what exactly. He fucking was, Frankenstein him. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was taken out of him, but he wouldn't have lasted that damn long. So he, he's I don't see him through. cauterizing arteries back after he pulls shit out. I mean, you never know. You can't say you can't say no. Maybe he did. He's been doing this a long time. He's been in the fun game, and he's preserved the bodies. What is it, like a lunchable? As, <laughs> yeah, you just a little bit at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save the cookies for later. Yeah. It's like an MRE. Uh, put the put man the liver, ready to eat. Put the uh, nice. Put the liver <laughs> back in the fridge. We're gonna fucking wait. So he, uh, Derry is walking through the basement trying to find a fucking exit and shit, and he inadvertently comes across the ceiling, which is just masked with uh, bodies stitched together. It looks like uh, it's the Sistine Chapel as uh, painted by uh, Michelangelo Myers. Yeah, That's well, I said is. that he, um, the creeper, went to the school of interior decorating as taught by Michael Myers. Did you really? I yeah. Fucking re- fuck you. Yeah, that's 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 actually God damn. yeah. He went <laughs> he went to Michael Myers School of Interior Decorating. Fuck you! I had that Michelangelo Myers. I had that you bastard. Ah, uh, eat a dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I got I got that. Oh. I re-referenced that that same note later on. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay, awesome. I'm cool with that. So all this shit happens. Uh, he finally escapes and comes. But before out. that, I, when I get back to that pipe, which first off, I'm not going back to the pipe. It's of course. <laughs> I've heard many people about say, to say that. Will Nelson said he wouldn't do it either. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say yeah. that. it doesn't work out. Um, but yeah, there's no way I'm going back to the drainage pipe, dude. No. And, but if I did, if say my wife's with me, you know Hannah. Hannah's yeah. like, oh god, oh my god, somebody might be alive back there. She just bugs the fuck out of me until we go back. I, I, I would go, hey, and nope. leave. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I want to hear somebody dub this. I don't know how many people we have that follow us, but I want to see there's a uh, that TikTok uh, YouTube thing that's been floating around. I want to see Justin Long at the top of that pipe going, "Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Ezekiel? <laughs> Fuck you, Ezekiel!" And then leave <laughs> in movie. That would be great. It's done in fucking movie. It's That'd done. Be great. So that they find that they drive to the next town over so they can get in touch with the. Oh fucking no, cops. we're not done yet. Oh, we're, we're still in the basement. No, we're still we're still going to the basement. All right. With all the shit you've seen, you freak out over rats. Yeah, see, I didn't because get that what's either. worth? What's worse, rats or me kicking my feet and I slide down a fucking sixty foot pipe and hit the ground? He's a Dairy Queen. Stop doing that. Just you could have like easily like no, pull me out, pull and me didn't out. Get mad at pull, her that because she dropped him. You You're were kicking your kicking. fucking feet. You were flailing about like a hoe. Like, yeah, you were. Like a so, hole. Are you a hole, how, hole? How are there any rats left? You know when he slid down, he just grabbed all them motherfuckers in a hug. You would think. <laughs> but, but no. <laughs> but no. Wait. Uh, let's see. Right. Yeah, that, I got that. Um, <laughs> here's... Are, are, he, are we at the diner yet? No, we're, we're not, still not at the diner. diner. No, we're no. Not the diner. Because we get the first instance of her not knowing how to drive her own fucking car. I was so mad about that the entire fucking movie. She was grinding the fuck out of those gears. That's car. her car. Yes. That's her car. I could see if, like, if uh, I'm Ross knows I've driven a stick shift my whole life. His whole life. I know this how to drive like, them. I don't drive them as regularly. Yeah. But even I don't fucking grind gears like she did. I'm 32. I, I have my second automatic right now. Yeah. But, say, my old truck that I had with my with a stick shift. Yeah. I could see if you and I were somewhere and you had to jump in and you were grinding the gears. Yeah. 
You don't drive a stick shift every day. No, and in a panic state, it. in a panic state, I would. Yeah, but that's her vehicle. Yeah, it's second nature. Here's the thing. I can't even see really grinding the gears. I could see killing it from popping the clutch. Yeah. How do you not remember to press the clutch? She sucks. She does not know how. I'm surprised that Jeepers Creepers came on the radio and it wasn't pretty Ricky. <laughs> Baby, grind on me. Because that's all she did the entire <sighs> fucking movie. Oh. oh, another thing. How did anyone know she lost her head if he had the body? Uh, it, it was like that suicide in Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> that's what I thought. That was the first thing I thought It was like the suicide of. in Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't know. It, it she lost suicide. her head. Well, well okay. <laughs> it's the whole thing's there. <laughs> the, the body's gone. How you know she <laughs> lost her head? I don't know. The whole, the whole body's fucking gone. <laughs> so they wind up at this fucking diner, and they, they run in. They're like, call the police. And everybody just kind of stares at him for a second, because who the fuck are you? But I'm sorry. Any normal human being, when two people run in and start screaming that they need help, call the police. That's not the reaction you usually get. They're in the rural south. Guns would have come out. Oh, yeah. Everybody at the table would have pulled out a fucking revolver from underneath their shirt. Yeah. What? Where? We yeah, have Smith, yeah. Wesson, and Rugers everywhere. So and yelling, you had one guy with a Taurus in the back. Call the cops. Get on the phone. Blah, blah, blah. All this bullshit. The waitress walks off very nonchalantly. I'm going to call the cops. Uh, Trish is trying to get Derry's attention at this point. So she pushes him right next to the payphone. Yes. Not one time did either of them think. Let look, me call the let cops. Let me call the cops on this payphone. No. Instead, he takes this very cryptic this very cryptic call from the Oracle is what <laughs> happened. The Oracle contacted him and told him what the fuck was about to happen. Duh, this chick says he's either a demon or a devil. What? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm pretty sure that's one and the same. Uh, I, not to her, it's not, but she's the oracle. Who am I to fucking judge? I don't right. know. <laughs> I, I, Dream Weaver. <laughs> that, that should have been her theme song when she uh, walked in. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not even going to say that. I'm going to slap myself later for writing down a fat joke oh. about her being a large medium. Oh, well done. Uh, I'm just not going to. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, you know what? I apologize hey, in I advance. I resemble that comment. <laughs> I, I apologize in advance, guys. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that one. So. Apparently, your boy goes back and breaks in your car to smell the laundry. No, I, I'm right before that. Why are you grabbing a fucking cop to, to like, no, you listen to me. And he grabs a cop by the arm. That's how you get fucking thrown in jail. That's how you get tased. Yeah, very quickly. Yeah, it was a video. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> but no, the woman's like, he was smelling your clothes and he liked it too. He looked like he liked it too. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. This is a demon who summoned was Joe that, Biden. It was a <laughs> I don't know what the hell. He sniffed more people in this fucking movie. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> he kept sniffing people the entire fucking movie. So I can think about it. It's like a fucking presidential campaign. What is going on here? Right. right. Then he walked in, talked like Trump, be like, yeah. I'm the greatest demon ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the they best. said they've been no demons like me before. <laughs> when they finally fucking see him and they're up, uh, <laughs> all, all this shit goes on. Trans they're trying to get the fuck away. Yeah. And uh, get well, the fuck away, though. Get away. Get away. Don't just fucking. Just, Why are they going uh, back to the church with the cops? I, I need Shia LaBeouf in the background. Just do it. <laughs> get the fuck away. Don't stop driving till you get somewhere else entirely. Yeah. Don't stop, stop driving till you see city lights. Sit, oh, yeah. Big city lights. Big Apple. I, yeah. I'm talking daytime in the middle of the night, Times Square type of shit. You keep Yeah, driving. I'm not talking Baton Rouge. I'm talking like fucking yeah. no. L.A. or New York. Get Maybe the, Chicago. Get the hell away, because he looked like he was liking it, too. That's enough for me. I'm out. Yeah. I'm fucking but out. why do you have to go back to the church with the cops? Why do you keep writing your name on your underwear? You're in college. <laughs> You're in college. You're dude. in fucking college. Well, you no, know, I can see that, because they have a washeteria in the college. <sighs> if, they're, if they're using a laundromat. Okay, you know I'm uneducated. I, I I didn't stay in dorms at college. I only, me either, I but I had friends that did stay in the dorms. So they wrote their name in their underwear? Yeah, all their clothes had names on. It was like I live by myself. I'm about to start writing my name on my underwear just it's because. Like, yeah, but like for there, it was like being in jail. Like, dude, people just steal your fucking clothes. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never thought about it from that perspective, but yeah, I, I guess you get, you get like 40 fucking guys in like six rooms. Yeah. Oh, dude, awesome fucking... Uh, Little that one of those little moments that people take for granted and don't really think that as much, but the dust that he used to dust for fingerprints was dead skin. Yes, that is an awesome little fucking no, tidbit. That's just like weird. It wasn't. Shit. He didn't dust for fingerprints with it. 
It was the dead skin that he left on it when he grabbed it. That's why he said it looks he like somebody. It looks like someone ever dusted. It was the fucking. Dead it was the dead skin off his hands. Fu- that's what. That's fucking. That is amazing. That's that is fantastic. such a weird little fucking thing to throw in that a lot of yeah. people don't really pay a lot of attention to. When he's looking at it, he said, "No, it's this dead skin." It well, was this leads. This skin. leads to the best fucking shot of the movie, though. When they're le- what, they're the, on their way to the church, the and French you- kissing practice that happened with the no. cop. <laughs> When when they're talking about the song, for some reason Justin Long has to turn it up to fucking ten, of course, to talk about it. Which I don't know why. That's like whenever it's raining, so you turn the radio down so you could find where you're supposed to turn. Hey, I heard I heard a theory the other day about guys about that. Like, really? Yeah, there's like so only so many things guys can process at one time. That's why if we get if we get lost somewhere in the town, you got to turn the radio, turn down. Around the radio down. I do so every time, and I, it's subconscious. And I do it too. It's, yeah, it's a subconscious thing. Like, I'm like, yeah, nope, I need to turn this down right now. Yeah, if I if I know, don't know where I'm going, I got to follow my GPS. I'm going to turn my radio. I don't know down. if anybody should be turning that fucking music up. It should be Trish if she doesn't hear the fucking gears grinding. <laughs> But you get, the, you get the iconic shot looking through their windshield and out the back glass, and he's standing on top of the cop yeah, car. Yeah, it's fucking great. That's fucking fantastic. That is a great shot. That is some great cinematography right there. I it like really the line he, he radios in, and he's like, uh, hang on, hang on, headquarters. I got, uh, it sounds like the sky's falling outside. Yeah. <laughs> he lands Officer on the roof. Chicken Little here yeah. is trying to drive to a fucking fire at a church. Okay, so here's the thing. You and I are riding in a car one day. Yeah. And we're cruising down the street. We're best friends. Absolutely. If something drags you out the window, I'm bailing. I get it, dude. I, I wouldn't even be mad at you. I'm like, fucking be, rolling. He would be like, I'd be in his claws and be flying away, flapping. Like, ah, I get it. Yeah. I, I get <laughs> yeah. it. I'm not like, even mad, bro. Yeah. Like, you ever seen the commercial Tuck and Roll, Grandma? Yeah. I'd have just done that. Just Oh, you uh, your fucking boy from uh, from Babysitter 2. I'm not even mad, dude. Yeah. I'm not even mad. mad, bro. I, got, I get you, dude. I completely <laughs> get you. I understand it. Don't die with me. You ever seen uh, Crazy Stupid Love? I'd have done, done like Steve, uh, Steve Carell. And just fall out the car. Oh yeah, he's like, <laughs> "Stop talking, please. If you don't stop talking, I'm gonna get out the car." <laughs> you, like, you would drag you out. You'd be screaming. I just duck out. I can see you coming home to your kids too, Dad. Did you jump out of a car? I did. I did. <laughs> I did. By the way, Daddy's got a new partner for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, remember Mr. Ross? A memorandum. So he decides. The creeper decides he's gonna uh, just engage. for the record. If the creeper ever takes you, I will put before every video in memory of Ross. <laughs> I'm, I'm so great with that. Let my memory live on. So the creeper decides that he's gonna engage in tonsil hockey with a decapitated police head. Yeah, that was fucking wow. Yeah, that's just just so many got things all to, up in that. There's thing. a lot of things to unpack there. Yeah, <laughs> there's just so you notice much. a sign behind him that says "Tastes so damn good." I did not notice that. There's a sign behind him that says well, "Tastes so damn dude, good." It look, this is the first good real clear uh image you see of the creeper and you kind of see how he's built like and it looks like uh, and i already made the joke about him summoning th- this but it does look like he ate one of joe diffie's relatives because he has because <laughs> he has what i can only describe as a satanic mullet no it's a skull it's a satanic skull it's a, a satanic skull we'll go with that i yeah, like because it's bald on the top with the long hair well no that's business in the front sir he's aerodynamic so he can swoop the fuck <laughs> no, down it's, that's, it's, that's business it's literally in the front. called a skull it when oh, you sh- if, if you bald on the top and you leave it long in the back I think I'm going to grow a skull for the podcast, guys. That'd be fucking fantastic. If, dude, if we get, I, and I know a few people are going to do this, if we, if we can get 50 likes on this video, I will grow a damn skull Just the because. What's it, the from there, they leave, all right? And she, she's, he's hauling, they're, they're haul, she's finally hauling ass. And she, he tells her, slow down before you kill us. No. No, don't slow down. At Speed all. up more. Don't slow this down. This car goes faster than that. Go this faster. Is a, this is right after she ran his ass over multiple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is before. Is it? Oh, it's no, no it's, yeah, okay, it's right before the cat lady. So he's telling so, slow they, down. Stop at the fucking cat lady. Why are you stopping here? Because you're stupid. Why are you because stopping? You don't stop. But that's you, absolutely, you know what? I will, give, I will give Trish the uh, the benefit of the doubt. She rolled him over, what, three, four times before he was like, okay, that's enough. No, fuck you enough. Keep yeah. going. Keep fucking going. Because then he summons the ghost of the Wright brothers. Yeah. And a fucking, <laughs> this fucking big fucking dragon wings pop out. And he decides he's going to start no, flying. Yeah, no. He pops one wing out like a yeah. fucking wounded pool dude. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it just dies over. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. He's going to be flying like like really low to the ground. Just barely so, wait, Because we're trying to, we're trying to get, get through here because we're getting long already. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. We're trying to get to it. Wait. So they get to the fucking police station. Did you read... The uh the missing posters? I read a couple of them. Which one were you referring to? All of them have funny shit on them. The <laughs> I didn't notice funny. I noticed they had a couple of fucking Endangered up names, mi- uh, Missing, okay, is one of the posters. Yeah. The, it's a kid. His name is Eagle Cloud Mid Thunder. Nice. That yeah. is Oh my god, what's the uh the the Wait. dude from Sharknado, Thunderfuck? Yeah. Wait. Missing from Dusty oh, Beaver U Haul. 
Dusty Beaver, Utah. Dusty Beaver, Utah. Yeah, last seen running, screaming from Lady Lake. (laughs) Age now unknown. That's great. Age now unknown? Yeah. How? How? But they have his date of birth. It's fucking fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. fucking amazing. The description says, Eagle has always been a boy who took candy from strangers. It is feared that this naive approach to life has finally turned around and bitten our young hero. So as the sun sets in the east, we bid a fond farewell to Eagle and his amazing wonder, uh, wonder hunk. That's fantastic. That's some <laughs> great shit in the background going on, guys. I really love it. Uh, and there's more in here, dude. There's a couple of different ones. Um, you have uh, Tim Sullivan. Um, <laughs> That's just fantastic. I love when they put shit like that in the fucking background. His hair is Dusty Beaver. Dusty Beaver. Love Dusty Beaver. Yeah. Um, <laughs> build fair to midline. Let me see. Race Cornish. <laughs> what? Yeah, his occupation, a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. Nice. A true jack of all trades and a real bargain at half the price. <laughs> nice. That's fantastic. Uh, scars of marks and oblong-shaped birthmark in I, the shape of a large okra, lightly seasoned and fried to perfection. <laughs> that's some Louisiana shit right there. I want those posters for the background. I want at least one or two of those wanted posters in the fucking background. Wait, wait is it, and the last part of it says... Um... Remarks should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Be sure to bring cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. God, that's fucking great. That's so fantastic. they stop at the crazy cat lady's house. The crazy cat lady has already been prophesized by the Oracle that reached out to Derry earlier in the fucking movie. And she winds up dying after she walks out with, that's not my scarecrow. Yeah. Which that enough is to get in the fucking car and go. Yeah. Well, you get thing. in the car and you grind those gears for 30 seconds and leave. He, he runs through, he gets in the house. She runs in. Roll the fuck out. Yeah. Why, why are you still there while he walks her outside like a fucking puppet? Uh, I, because. They're wrong, it's an awesome movie. scene. It's a great it's a reveal great. <laughs> of, the, of the creeper. It is. Because the first time you see the creeper's face. But realistically, get the fuck. There's no way I'd still be there. I'm not staying. I wouldn't have stopped. But, okay, they get in the car. She grinds the gears for 35 minutes. God bless. There's dude. no trans. There's no teeth left in this fucking transmission. Oh, no. At all. It's gone. Yeah, it's a down to buy transmission. Ain't no teeth left. Yeah, there's transmission smoking crack. Yeah. So they take off. Well, she goes to hit him the first time, and he jumps over the car. Yeah. Why would you try again? Be- because if at first you don't succeed, uh, skydiving is not for you. <laughs> but she tries again. And again. And again. <laughs> she hits him on a third, third time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, third time, she fucking. How? Because he hasn't established a pattern yet that she keeps <laughs> fucking doing this. He's like, she's not going to She's not going to. There's no fucking like, way she's so, going to do it again. She's bluffing me this time. Yeah, no, it's not. But no. she knocks him down and she runs him over three or four times and he makes her stop. Dumb. Yeah. Stupid. Keep going. Yeah. Run that motherfucker over till he's but flat top. You meet, you meet, you meet the large medium. You meet the large medium. She runs into the... But she uh, gives you the backstory. Every 23rd spring, yeah, for she, 23 days, he gets to feed. Yeah, something about the number 23. I think there was a movie about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But she busts in... Like, she runs into the fucking police station like a gazelle. Excuse me. A gazelle. <laughs> and starts giving this exposition that nobody was asking about, but apparently it was really crucial to the story. And great exposition, by the way. Yeah, it was it's great. Sincerely he really good. cool backstory. I, like his, he, I love the Creeper's backstory. The Creeper's backstory is he absorbs whatever body part he eats. So he eats eyes to see, he eats ears to hear, and Here's whatever right. body part he's lacking to keep him young and keep him fit, he eats that. We move up to Whose lock up. fucking wings are he eating? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo wings. Buffalo. Yeah, you motherfucker, you beat me to it. Yeah. No, I ain't even mad. I'm not even mad at you. Whose fucking wings is this dude eating to keep his wings That's strong? what happened to all the buffalo. There's no more buffalo. Many moons ago, many, buffalo many, covered, many, covered this land. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> they blamed the white They've man. They've been blaming the white man. It was him the whole damn it time. The fucking creeper. The fucking creeper. He's like, fuck, they told me there were wings here. <laughs> Oh my god! So, oh, we're going to hell! Uh, oh my god! He ate the first bad start of the Rona. Oh, oh! oh. So we move up to the lockup where he's eating a fucking prisoner. This cop stares at him for ten minutes. Why isn't he in the cage? Because you are what you eat. Yeah. No, this cop stares at him solid, just watching this. His, happen. It's not even an idea that he's eating the person, but the bars are bent and he has wings in. on his back. 
Shoot him. Shoot. Shoot it. You it's don't ask him. questions. No. It's not Angel from X One X Men. No. Shoot it. Shoot him. Shoot it and kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill yeah, I was about to say that. Kill, kill it with it fire. With everything you got. I have drew my weapon when I looked at the fucking prisoners thing. And they were because the cell and they're like, oh, 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 there's oh. some shit going on over there, guy. <laughs> you might want to do something about that. No, what the fuck? So I'm hoping that he because they make the comment about him having some kind of armor or something. Yeah. I don't know I'd have tried like hell. I'd have tried. I'd have shot and stung the fuck out of him if anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have went. I'd have went down shooting. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. But uh, they uh, the bullets keep ricocheting off yeah. of them and all throughout the cell. But he they can't fucks kill up the entire fucking police force like Michael Myers. Yeah, he does. But you actually get to see a little bit of it. In yeah. this one. Which was cool. Why is one guy going by himself to that stairwell? I thought that whenever the, there's a group of fucking police officers standing there, and one lone fucker just breaks off from the from yeah. the herd, and he's like, you know what? Fuck I'm Mr. Go, Super Trooper over I'm here. I'm going to go check this out. Yeah. I'm a bad motherfucker, and I don't have a long gun. I'm yeah. just going to go up with my fucking Beretta. What are you smoking? Uh, he put something from the evidence locker. You're, he was, you're hearing on the radio all these dudes getting fucked up. You're way too Hey, common. homie, pass me that 12-gauge, and then I'll go by myself. Maybe. Maybe. You're giving me a fully auto. Something something yeah. great is coming out of this. Tase it! Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. But it, I think I can get him with this mace. But then the, the creeper comes down. Everybody's looking up. Where did he come from? How did nobody see this dude? Because nobody has peripheral visions in, in, in horror fucking, movies. In no. horror movies, you can't see. There's no uh, uh, spatial awareness no. at all. There can't be. Otherwise, you wouldn't have that great kill where he fucking he uh, dropped, dropped down. down like 50 Cent in the fucking in the club video. Oh, well done. Rips this motherfucker's heart out and then does a fucking like inverted Lee. sit up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some Bruce Lee shit. <laughs> if you'd aim just a little bit That'd higher, be great if you did. <laughs> been great if you'd have did some uh, uh, rip his throat out like the end of Roadhouse type Roadhouse. Of bullshit, and just stand in the lake and scream. I wonder if that were his only line of dialogue Wesley! is supposed to be, because that that would have been great if the creeper would have yelled that. Because <laughs> the creeper had one line of dialogue in this whole movie and it got cut. Really? I don't know what the hell it was. That's just a I'm fucking, glad one of those little tidbits. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad they left him silent. Yeah. He doesn't need to fucking. He doesn't need to eat. Although he did eat that cop's tongue. He did. So, I mean. He, he stretched it out, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, got did. deep up in that thing. So, you probably wouldn't have understood him because he'd have been speaking in tongues. Oh, well done. Thank you. So, here's the thing. They run upstairs and show zero urgency once they get there. They run upstairs after the large medium tells them, you die after you run upstairs. And he goes, yeah. oh, my God, run upstairs. And they take off running upstairs. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm going to stand right here. We're just going to see take how this. My chances. We're going to see how this plays out. I want to take point, my chances. We're just going to see. She drops to her knees and starts saying, "Now, our father." Yeah, which worked. No, it didn't. Uh, for a she minute, she didn't smell good. <laughs> for a minute, it worked. <laughs> I just kept waiting. You ever seen the mummy? Yes. When when, when Emotep attacks the guy and he starts praying and he keeps coming, so he just pulls out all the different like iconology. Like yeah. he starts he starts saying a Christian prayer and he does go to a Muslim prayer. <laughs> I can't wait for like our Father who are in heaven. And he kept coming and she just switched to a different like a Jewish prayer. <laughs> and he kept coming and she just switched to a Muslim prayer. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> they do a cut scene, see Justin Long and your girl running upstairs. You you go back and she's laying down a rug and facing east. Yeah. Yeah. But it is some great shit going on. They get on. upstairs and just fuck off up there. Yeah, they do. They're just, I, I don't know what they the just deal gave is. up. Because here's the thing if they'd have ran right back down, he was in the little fucking room in the two way mirror. Yeah, trying to sniff her through a mirror. I'm yeah. not sure how that works. Yeah, I don't the think snozzberries <laughs> smell like snozzberries. <laughs> yeah. I don't, think, I don't think the science works there, my man. <laughs> So he comes through, he grabs him. The entire police force runs in, and there's a hostage situation. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen police targets where they train for this. Well, I'm pretty sure this turned into a vegan commercial. She starts crying. <laughs> you don't want dairy. <laughs> that's exactly what she that's exactly what she oh, said. That's fantastic. That's exactly what she said. But you know what? He did want dairy. <laughs> Here's he the thing. Fucking loved. That's gonna lead to some serious fucking um um, abandonment issues. You think the demon didn't even want her, dude? No shit. I get turned. <laughs> she got ghosted by a demon. Yeah. Even Father Ferris said, "Come back come here to me. and love me." Yeah. Even Father Ferris said, "Come into me," and the demon went. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> demon turned her down. Like no. Nope. It's like nope. <laughs> She's like Tori Spelling in Scary Movie Two. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the demon came into her. Yeah, that happened. Oh. And then, then the media was like, you gave me crabs. <laughs> Fucking rolled out. So the demon flies away with Derry. Yeah. Which is, I hate that fucking name so much. God, I hate that Does name that so much. Does that make him a milkman? I don't know, because every time they said his name, I kept thinking about fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, was the, we just reviewed the damn movie. 
Uh, the movie. It? No, <laughs> no, but the dairy. I made me think of dairy Dairy-Main, as well, yeah. but it made me think of uh, the Hitcher. Oh yeah, I, I kicked your ass. Why have a lazy eye? You can't milk no fucking donkey. <laughs> wrong with you <laughs> tried to milk a donkey oh uh, but yeah so he flies away with justin you, you realize that he was after him for his eyes yeah you want to dare his eyes and uh it, the scene ends with her watching a crow fly away which it flies to uh abandoned power station and it goes in the basement he's got his own little thing which proves that he moved from michael's home of uh home interior decorating to freddie's basement absolutely fucking look i wish it would have took his lungs because that would have essentially mean he needed his dairy air oh well uh, done Smell that fresh dairy Smell air. That fresh dairy air. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a great joke in it too. It really was. It's an amazing joke. I think I don't think they said it in the uh, in the in it chapter two. I think that was in the uh, the TV. Special. That was in the t- the original one. Yeah, yeah that dairy air. Oh, it was fucking. All right, all right. So, so we're we getting. Well, God yeah, bless. We're yeah, getting we're long, long on the tooth on this. Let's uh. What what is Rotten Tomatoes gonna piss Rotten me off Tomatoes about today? Rotten Tomatoes gave this a forty six. Rotten Tomatoes can fuck off. The audience score is forty eight. Is it only two percent higher? I, I feel like this got like a no love and a lot of. I think a lot of it was a director, which you know what I get that I do, but in the same breath, don't take away from an entire project. No, because okay. there's a lot more going on with this project than just the director. Remember when you were in you high have- school and there was five people working on a fucking project, and then one of them was a fucking jackass and didn't do yeah. anything, and then he contributed like a couple little things, and he was okay. Well, we made that, but he was a piece of shit. The whole class didn't get a fucking F because of it. Exactly. You, you can't grade movies like and that. And I'm wondering how how much of that was later on um, reviews, too, because this was popular back when it, it came out, it enough was, to where you had two sequels. This was uh, this broke record for Labor Day releases. Yeah. Yeah, this was a big fucking movie, made a lot of fucking traction, and I think it might have been later on reviews because a lot of people go back and uh, Rotten Tomatoes wasn't. Because when this first came out, it wasn't really public knowledge that he had got arrested for what he did and all that. Yeah, so. no. So, so, I mean, I th- a, lot of, a lot of it might have suffered because of that. And in the aftermath of that, I don't think it was in the beginning of that shit. All right, so what are you giving it? Uh, I am actually going to give it a little bit higher than what you might expect. I'm actually giving it a 42. There's That's not what a, I'm going to. There's not a, lot, not a lot I can take away from this It's a really movie. good movie. Yeah. It had its moments. It had stupidity. It, it had. It didn't have a lot of plot holes. No. It, uh, it's just a lot of the... The, the main thing I'm taking away is, is all the times I sat there going, why in the fuck are you stopping? Yeah. That was a little bit dumb. I love the... I love the choice... And the gear grinding. I... <laughs> I love the choice to make them brother and sister because they didn't instead of having it, a love interest, they didn't yeah. force them to have that love interest in the movie that was unnecessary and yep. unneeded and quite frankly unfucking wanted. Yeah, this is a horror movie. Yep, and it was. And you know what? This is a creature feature. I'm not a fucking fan. Yeah, I'm really I not. I I've am. never been a huge fan of creature features. But I, he's I a love creature. the I love the backstory of the creeper. I really do. I no, wish I think the lore is great. I really do. Yeah, the the lore is fantastic. Till you get to number three. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to that one, guys. Yeah, um, but yeah, everything else about the creeper, I think it's fucking cool because he really is pretty creepy. Yeah, he really he was the perfect fucking name. He really was fucking creepy. Which, by the way, before we go, do you know where the the phrase "Jeepers Creepers" comes from? I'm not sure. It was uh, me. it was a way to stop people from blaspheming when they uh, when they like something happened. They go, "Jesus Christ!" Instead, they would say "Jeepers Creepers." Ah, ah, Jeepers Creepers. That's that's cute. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Yep. So the creeper was named after Jesus Christ. That, that's that's even worse. That's which is worse. <laughs> which is even worse when you consider him uh, crucified as a scarecrow at the yes. cat lady's house. That was yes. really fucked up. Jesus. All right, guys. Well, you want to tell them <laughs> where to find us at? You still don't have that written down? No, I don't. All right, guys. We are on SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, Stitcher, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Google Play Podcast. Um, Amazon podcast, and I'm it's missing it. one. Eight. Pretty sure it's all of them. I'm almost positive there's nine, and I just fucking missed one. Oh, uh, uh, y- y- y'all can find us for everywhere. Look, here, whoever finds where we're at before this video gets posted, we'll give a shout out to in the next video. That's it. Hey, that worked. Yeah, because we're somewhere. If you can't find us, you're not looking. Yeah, we're everywhere. Yeah, guys, remember to like, follow, and subscribe. Um, if you're somewhere, if you listen to somewhere that doesn't allow comments and you want to make a comment, you can reach us at CajunHorrorFans at gmail.com. Yeah. Or uh, cross platforms, guys. Like us on multiple platforms and it just gets our numbers up and it gets us uh, shared more. Yeah, the more by platform you are, the better. That's it. Ooh, yeah. Well done. Ooh. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Bye.